Hello everyone, welcome back. I have a really busy next few days this week, so this video is actually gonna be a weekly vlog um, because I know you guys love a vlog every so often um, and there's a lot going on, so it's actually Sunday today. I wanted to start the vlog today because I just feel like tomorrow I'm gonna be a little bit flustered, a bit busy because I'm actually shooting at the Savoy tomorrow for a job with Penn Halligans, which I'm so excited about. I've been planning, um, getting a load of props together, which I'm actually sorting out right now. Um, I think you'll really like them. I'm also going for brunch today with my friends, um, which should be lovely. So I've got to get ready for that too, pick an outfit. So um, yeah, there's a bit going on today. It's a lovely day though. So sunny, so warm. Um, so I'm in a very, very jolly mood. <laughs> So here are all my Penhaligons props. I went a little bit over the top, as you can see. Um, but I just love it when I have a project that just allows me to be really fun and creative. Um, so I do get a little bit carried away. So you can kind of guess the vibe. The whole idea of the campaign is that all of the fragrances have like a persona. So my fragrance is Luna which is so, so beautiful. And my persona is the cosmopolitan pearl. So I'll just read you out my little tarot card. You're the woman every society girl wishes they could be, a complex but incredibly sweet personality that has the whole world entranced. Amused to your milieu, it is not merely your air of delicate composure that inspires, but also your rose-tinted realism. That is actually me, the rose-tinted realism bit. <laughs> you exude charisma, intelligence, and elegance, and your sense of style and unwavering surety has never failed to keep your parade of loyal followers in step and clamoring for more. Guys, I'm not trying to keep you in step, I promise. So I've gone for very much period glamour. I've got some really gorgeous like satin robes with feathers, um, one in champagne and two in white. So I need to try those on and see which will look better. Um, these shoes, these were actually from Shein. I got a lot from Shein. This fabulous fan, how stunning is that? Um, I got this like mirror tray just from Amazon. I got loads of pearls from Amazon. Some of these fabulous like pearl necklaces. This one here as well, these were from Shein. They just go with the vibe so well. These bags also came from Shein, which I thought was amazing. Like they are so unique. Um, like you could not get this kind of thing anywhere. Look how pretty that is. Um, and then I also got this, which is a glass decanter, basically. Um, I got this from a vintage seller on Etsy. It's so, so pretty. So I'm going to put bubble bath in here um, as a prop. Then I also thought like this would go so perfectly in my bathroom as well um, afterwards with bubble bath in. So I'm so happy with this. It wasn't too expensive either and it's so heavy. I also got these really gorgeous champagne saucers um, from Ikea. I didn't really want to take any of my own own because I'm traveling like with all my stuff in a suitcase. I got these and they were only £10 I think for four and don't you think they're so pretty like they're so vintage looking. I thought that was such a find. I also got this telephone from another vintage seller on Etsy. This I wasn't quite as pleased with because it's arrived and it's so dirty and obviously I know that it's second hand and vintage but I really would have thought that they would have cleaned it before they sent it to me so that's a bit disgusting so I've got to clean this today. I feel like when it's cleaned up, it will look so spectacular. Then I've got my vintage Harper's Bazaar magazine as well, my vintage binoculars, just like a load of props to make the whole thing look really over the top and pretty, and lots of Penhaligon's bits as well. <laughs> Cindy's helping me open it. She loves a ribbon. She literally will not be able to resist this. <laughs> What's in here? I feel like this is the um, hand wash for Luna. Oh my gosh, it just smells so, so good. And then finally, I thought you guys would really appreciate this. This is going to be my outfit for the shoot as well, courtesy of Santini. It's one of their new pieces and it's literally perfect for this character. It's, oh my God, how stunning. It's like a dress coat, kind of. Um, I mean, you guys will, I'm sure you'll see me in it tomorrow, but oh my God, it's just, divine. I've also got to put these um, fake nails on. Basically, I'm trying to give my nails a break from gel because they're just so thin and you can see like these two are just completely broken. Um, but I cannot have nails like this for a shoot, so I'm going to put these on. <laughs> it's a new game. <laughs> oh. well, you said about sounds being stimulating. Yeah. Crazy for oh, baby. You're such a glamour, but mm, such a swasu. 
Okay, I need to pause on the props now and get ready to go out for brunch. I've done my makeup, as you can see, um, and my hair. I've just got to blow dry my fringe into place and choose an outfit. So here are my outfit choices for the day. I have a few really beautiful new in dresses from Karen Millen, um, and they are all so gorgeous. So whichever one I don't end up wearing today, I'll wear another day this week. Um, first of all, this one, which, oh my God, I just love. It's like a creamy, slightly metallic tweed with little gold threads running through and these really gorgeous buttons. And I just love the look of the shape of it. So, so pretty. Um, next is this one, which kind of gives me like anything goes sailor vibes, kind of like 1940s. Um, kind of looks a little bit retro, which you know I love. And then finally this one, which is the same fabric as the first one, but this is in like a high neck sleeveless um, shift dress style, which is kind of a little bit 60s. Um, so very, very me. Um, yeah, they're all so gorgeous. Let's try them on. Okay guys, here is dress option one. And I love this dress so much. It's so adorable, it fits so nicely like it's such a gorgeous fit so comfortable and such a good length as well like this is obviously a mini dress but it's such a good length like it's not too short at all I would feel so comfortable wearing this um, I'm wearing a size 8 in this one for reference and um, I did try it on in a 10 as well just now um, but it was too big I ordered actually all three dresses in 8s and 10s because I usually like go between two sizes so um, this one's an 8 anyway and it's so beautiful. It just looks very chic and simple. It does obviously have like a little retro 60s vibe going on. It would look so cool with like some knee high boots. Um, so this is a good contender for brunch, but I can also really see myself wearing this. I have um, like a business -y meeting on Tuesday and I kind of feel like this looks quite professional chic, you know? So I might save this one for Tuesday, um, but it's so gorgeous. This is such a me dress. Option two, this dress is so adorable i literally can't cope i cannot get over this little like flap detail um on the neckline i don't know what this is called but it's definitely like a very retro vintage style i'm thinking it's like 40s or 50s but i don't really know for sure so if you know do comment down below this fits so nicely it's a really lovely length like it's not too short at all let's do a little twirl um it's really not too short at all this one is also a size eight and it fits really really nicely um i feel like it's maybe not for today just because it's not it's warm today but it's not hot and i just feel like i might be a little bit cold in this dress but the temperature is rising next week so hopefully i will get the chance to wear this next week sooner rather than later because it's so adorable i just love how it's like the perfect little white dress like i say every girl needs to have but this looks unique it looks like you got this from like a vintage store or a designer like it's not it doesn't look like something you would pick up on the high street it's so cute so option three and guys i think this is the winner for today have you ever seen a more perfect brunch dress it's so adorable i love the shape like look at how the skirt just kind of like flares out a little bit it's so flattering but it's also really comfortable it's nice for this kind of temperature where it's warm but it's not hot because I'm like nice and covered up um, and it just looks so classy and adorable again like the length is so good I just love when I can wear a short dress but not feel like super exposed or like really self-conscious about my derriere this is actually a size 10 I could barely get the size 8 on in this dress that's why I like to order um, a few sizes when I try dresses on. So this one is in a 10 and it fits really nicely. It's so comfortable. I really love these little buttoned tabs on the dress, like around the waist. That's just such an adorable, like subtle, but very chic feature. Um, and the dress itself, I just think is so chic. Like it looks so stylish and minimal. And I just feel like I should wear this with a pair of boots um, to kind of dress it down a bit. But you could equally wear this with like a pair of heels and it could be a little like cocktail evening dress. Very versatile, very classic as well. Um, I think I may have found my new favorite dress. <laughs> so I think for shoes, I'm going to go with these um, cream, well they're like off-white um, faux leather ankle boots. These are new in my wardrobe, but I couldn't resist them because I knew I would get so much wear out of them. I will link them down below, um, but they're, oh my God, they're so cute. And I feel like this will dress down the outfit nicely. So guys, I'm all ready. Here is my outfit. Um, I decided to go with my Coach Pillow Madison bag because I kind of felt like, again, it dresses down the look a little bit, makes it a bit more casual. And I've got my sunglasses. I didn't have time to do my nails 
which I'm really sad about. I will have to do them when I get back. Please excuse the mess in the background. Um, but the shoes look so good with the dress. Like, I'm so happy. Um, this is such a look. This is like my perfect everyday outfit. So yes, I will head off now and see you guys when I get back. brunch that was such a nice day like oh my god the food was amazing did you see my pancakes it had lemon curd cream cheese and poached rhubarb it was so yummy and so so good to catch up with my ballet girls i don't think i told you guys that they were my friends from ballet which is why i've known them since i was 11 and i just love catching up with them like we've all gone down such different paths in our careers like we have a solicitor a barrister um one works at a publishing house we have a teacher a scientist and me so and um, we've all gone down very different paths it's a mixed bag um but it's so good to catch up and it was just such a lovely day um so yes i am back now i really want to get sorted for tomorrow pack a suitcase and just get everything in order so tomorrow morning i can just wake up and go and then i also have to edit my video as it's monday tomorrow so my weekly video will be going live so i'll spend the evening editing and then i really want to try and get an episode of inventing anna in because i started it um on friday and i've just watched like two and a half episodes and i absolutely love it so i really want to try and get an episode in too <laughs> Oh my gosh, guys, I just got to my room at the Savoy. I'm in the Charlie Chaplin suite. Look how adorable this is. And it's the most beautiful room. It's even better than the room I was in last time I was here. Oh my gosh, it's absolutely breathtaking. I literally gasped when I walked in. Um, oh my God, it's just so gorgeous. Look at the bedroom. I did have the option to stay the night, but I just can't leave Cinderella really sad <laughs> so now i'm kind of wishing that i'd snuck her in my handbag and just brought her with me um but just look at the view as well you can see the thames the london eye even big ben i haven't seen big ben in ages it's been under scaffolding for like 10 years and then over here there's like this adorable little kind of like powder room area look at this little chair and the wallpaper everything is so beautiful these are wardrobes and then here is the bathroom which we'll be shooting in today as well gorgeous bath so we're just unpacking all of the props look how gorgeous everything looks i'm so excited and i also realized yesterday that i have this absolutely beautiful um silk like pajama set from lily silk that i got ages ago and i've never worn um and i just thought it'd be perfect for today's shoot with one of the robes and here is the santini dress coat in all of its glory it's just so perfect for this shoot um and yes i didn't have time to do my nails yesterday so i have to do that now um lots and lots to do but this is so fabulous i can't wait to wear it <laughs> <laughs> Daisy's steaming away, <laughs> pro steamer. <laughs> 
How extra is this though? So you'll come back in the room with your nice, fabulous dress. Yeah. Maybe some like sunglasses mm -hmm. and some bags. I don't know if you have mm. just your handbag or maybe like a carry bag. Even maybe, I don't know, your suitcase. Yeah. You walk in, take everything down, and you're like, come back in from your fancy day out. Yeah. Oh, I have and a, the Penhaligon's bag actually we could use. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And go. Yeah, for the hill. Okay, yeah. Oh, I think that last one was a good one. Do you remember we even, when we did the Savoy um, video, we went to Covent Garden and we yeah. got a shot of Penhaligon's store. Yeah, 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 yeah. How funny. I, know. I was thinking of that this morning. Okay, and try playing it. Yeah, perfect. And action. Yeah, perfect. How long have you seen the first one as well? I, I did, I did. I was just like, I realised that one. Why did I do that? <laughs> Hold the hand a little bit slightly closer in. That one. Oh. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I literally oh love it. God. This is amazing. Incredible. <laughs> yeah, everything me and Kat shoots always over the top, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Glamour. <laughs> Glamour. <laughs> Hopefully this goes well. Some Redox. <laughs> hmm, smells good actually. Right, I hope we've got enough. Cinderella, Cinderella. Because basically I can't one? move because we've like positioned me perfectly on the chair. Oh my gosh. They match my nails. Queen Freddy. Give me your shoes time. Is everything in check? Yeah. Perfect. Straight up leg, is that quite fun or that stupid? Is it like I think fashion? you keep moving it. Okay. It is a bit fashion, but we don't mind that. Actually, I think it looks better if it's down. Yeah. It really looks longer that way, yeah. Okay. Give it a little leg. <laughs> oh no, it is a cork. Oh, oh no, cat. So I'm actually alright at it. But you can shut the door if you want to. No. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> well done, Daisy. Such a pro. Oh, perfect. Well, I don't <laughs> see if the bottle has gone in the bar. I think they need to get rid of the bottle and then just have you with the. And action. Yeah. 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 Yeah, perfect. So guys, we have finished the shoot and it went so, so well. I'm literally on cloud nine. Um, it just couldn't have gone better. It was so, so nice to have Daisy helping. Kat's so professional and um, we just got some really beautiful shots and it was actually fun. I'll actually go as far as to say it was quite fun. Had quite a nice day and we still have the room for another half an hour. So I think me and Daisy are just going to chill for a bit, finish the bottle of Prosecco that we got as a prop, as a celebratory finish to the day. What a productive Monday. <laughs> Hello everyone. Oh my gosh, I have had a day. Actually, I've had a fail of a day. Um, luckily, my meeting got moved to Thursday because I would not have wanted to go today. I basically didn't sleep at all. Just like I have really not slept very well the last few nights because of Cinderella. She's basically been acting really weird the last few days. And at first I just thought she was being a little bit needy, like super needy. But today I have realized that I believe she is in her first heat, which is really sad because she's literally a baby, but I was looking it up and I called my vet and apparently six months is really normal for it to start. Um, and it started. And before anyone has a go at me, the reason that she's not spayed already is because my vet wanted her to like hit a certain weight because she's a very small cat. Um, so I actually had her booked in for Thursday two days time and I just can't believe that this has happened now. I've now had to cancel the appointment and push it back by a few weeks because they don't like doing the procedure on a cat that's in heat because their uterus is swollen and um, it can just cause like extra complications which we don't want. So um, I'm now having to deal with a cat who basically will not shut up all day and all night. She's just fallen asleep, which is how I'm able to film this because otherwise it honestly would not have been possible. And I haven't managed to get anything done today because I've been so distracted and like, it's making me really anxious. And I've actually cried today twice because 
I just hate seeing her distressed. It really, really upsets me. And I just wish that there was something I could do to like soothe her. Um, but there isn't. I just have to make sure that she stays inside. Um, I'm gonna put my heated blanket on for her and see if she'll lie on it because apparently that can soothe their little bottoms. But yeah, it basically means that I've just got nothing on my to-do list done, which really, really bothers me. Like, I feel really rubbish, to be honest, right now. Um, and I almost skipped this day. I was like, oh, I'll just do it tomorrow and be like, I couldn't vlog. But then I was like, no, I'll come on and just show, I guess, a bit of reality that not every single day I'm like super productive. It's just, I don't know, she's made me feel anxious today. And so I just, I probably could have got stuff done, but I just, I've been feeling a bit on edge. I'm very distracted. Like I have not been able to focus at all. So the day's not gone. It's like five o'clock now. Um, so I'm still gonna try and get some stuff done. I basically had like a really big day of, I hate the word, but like admin, emails um, and some planning. I'm also going and shooting tomorrow. So I have to plan that out. I was also supposed to do a sponsored TikTok today. Oh my god, I completely forgot about that. I probably will have to do that today. Um, and also just like washing and some sorting out of returns and that kind of thing. So um, nothing too difficult, but yeah, you know, I'm just feeling a bit like, ugh, especially because I haven't really slept. So yeah, I thought I would just check in at least rather than not vlog at all. Oh, my poor baby. You don't know what's going on, do you? You're like, mommy, where are all the boys? <laughs> I'm calling them and calling them and they're not coming. Oh, I've ordered some things for her um, to come tomorrow that will hopefully make her feel better. I've got a Felly Way plug-in, um, which was recommended to me by some followers. Also some catnip um, and just some more toys and some treats. <laughs> the weird thing is though, guys, is that I'm actually on at the moment. So it's like we've synced. But I really have to snap into action now and try and get something done. I could literally just sit there and cuddle her all day and cry. But I'm way too emotional over everything. So, yeah, I'm going to say bye to you guys now. Um, JJ is coming back later as well. So I feel like he, he has a calming presence on me. I think when I'm by myself um, indoors, like, all day, I can go a little bit stir crazy. Especially with something like this, which is a situation that I'm, like, not used to being in and I like didn't know how to handle um but hopefully I'll be fine um I just need to you know snap into it I might have some chocolate to cheer me up <laughs> This is like a barn room all together. Wow. So if you jump on the floor, you get a spring underneath. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know, so for dancing. Yeah, that was that was purpose for, for the dancing, so your knee is not gonna be damaged. Wow. <gasps> this is incredible. Everything is marble. Yeah, this was, this was, this was done to like a uh, Russian family. Romanovs. <gasps> Romanovs. Yeah. Bride and groom coming down on the wedding day and everyone standing here and clapping. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's so dramatic. Oh, wow. Right. So to be honest with you, This place is incredible. This is such a hidden gem. Oh my goodness. Apologies for the nice but You wouldn't expect that in here, isn't it? It's Nicholas Romanov, <laughs> Anastasia's dad. <laughs> I recognized him instantly. The queen approves. That's good enough for me. <laughs> <laughs> the garden. Such a shame it's not sunny. But this would just be such an amazing venue. I'll be back in two minutes, all right? Hey guys. Happy Wednesday. It is the hump day halfway through the week. Um, I still have had no sleep. I do not know if you can see that on my face, but I have not. Powering through, um, I have another job to shoot today. We've actually come to this hotel in Luton called the Luton Who Hotel. And this is for um, a job I'm doing with Red Letter Days who do like experience days. Um, and one of their experiences is to come and have afternoon tea at this hotel. And the pictures just looked really pretty. And I was like, I can't believe that's in Luton because Luton doesn't really have like a great reputation especially not for like a pretty kind of stately home but we've come and honestly guys I have just 
I am floored at how stunning this hotel is. I'm wearing my absolutely stunning um, Santini trench coat. This is from the new collection, isn't it heavenly? So this is the afternoon tea room. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> That's our table for shooting, but we've also commandeered this little lounge area as well for all of my things. Um, look how beautiful it is! I feel like I'm in Bridgerton. So I've changed into the outfit that I'm going to shoot in. It's this incredible dress from LK Bennett. Um, Josie had it in Charleston and I was so jealous. So now I have it too and it's so beautiful. I feel like it's a perfect afternoon tea dress as well. And then I've got my Dolce & Gabbana Sicily bag my Lara Heems earrings which are just the best and these LK Bennett shoes as well oh my goodness so our afternoon tea just arrived and he said that we can actually eat this one and enjoy it mommy stop watching it you're such a weirdo um yeah so he said that we can actually just enjoy this afternoon tea and then he'll bring us another one to shoot cream first and i will not have anyone tell me otherwise right no what Jam first. no cream first Jam first and the cream on the top no cream and then jam on top oh my god and the cakes look so good so this is a uh a shoe, shoe pastry with a passion, passion fruit, fruit cream, cream. Raspberry and vanilla roulade. What was the middle this one? Is opera cake. Opera cake. Um, coffee and chocolate opera cake. Oh, it's coffee. Yeah. Um, strawberry and white chocolate mousse. Oh my gosh. And gorgeous, gorgeous sandwiches. And champagne, of course. Cheers. Oh, cheers. <laughs> <laughs> Sherry, baby. <laughs> Sherry baby. Can you guys guess what we're on our way to see? We're at Trafalgar Square. It's a lovely evening and we are just about to watch Jersey Boys. I've never actually seen Jersey Boys before. It's one of the few Western shows I haven't seen yet. So I'm very, very excited. My dad's seen it and he really likes it. I just got back from the gym. I had quite an early PT session, which is unlike me, but I'm really glad I did it. I had a really good productive start to the day. Um, I actually ended up staying at my parents' house last night after Jersey Boys, which by the way was just amazing, like sensational. I'd never seen it before. One of the few West End shows, like the long-term West End shows, there she goes again, that I hadn't seen and I just absolutely loved it. Um, but I ended up staying over the night at my parents' house afterwards because to be honest, I have, I hadn't slept in four days. Like I had a mental breakdown and I just really needed to sleep. So JJ stayed here with Cinderella because somehow he can sleep through the noise and I really can't. So yes, I had a good night's sleep, a good workout this morning. I'm actually wearing a new workout outfit. I always wear the same thing, um, but I got sent some new bits from Adenola. I'll show you my outfit. So I've got this really nice like oversized sweater and it's kind of like tennis style, which is really cool. I actually really, me and JJ have been saying we want to try out tennis together. 
just to get some like fun exercise um but yeah this is really cute and i just like how it's big and baggy so you don't get too hot in it and then my favorite thing is the leggings and the top so they kind of look black but they're actually brown like really dark brown um and it will surprise people to know that i do actually prefer to wear dark colors at the gym um i just don't like to stand out like i do have some really cute pink workout outfits but i don't really like wearing them when i go to the gym it's just full of men and i'm just like no i just want to blend in so i always wear black and i actually like hate it but i just feel comfortable um so these are so much nicer so much more me in this dark brown color so yeah really happy i felt really cute today at the gym and today is the day that my meeting from tuesday got moved to so i've got about 45 minutes to get changed have a shower um and head off to my meeting i can't tell you what it's about yet i'm doing that really annoying thing but i will be able to tell you really soon and it's very very exciting oh god cinderella she started again please someone tell me how long this is gonna last i think i'm going to go for the sleeveless karen millen dress today i think it's warm enough and if not, I will wear the Santini coat that I had on yesterday. I feel like that will go really well with some little ankle boots. Um, yeah. Here is my OOTD, the Santini coat, which I'm not sure you got the full effect of yesterday. It's literally perfection. It's the most gorgeous thing in the world. Absolutely stunning with the Karen Millen sleeveless dress underneath, my coach bag, Tory Burch boots. I'm going for like an all cream look today. Totally, totally cream. So spring-like, but I'm still like kind of warm because of the coat. Um, yeah, and I'm really, really excited for today. it is saturday and oh my gosh this week has just been so so hectic i felt like this would be a really good week to do my first like weekly vlog at home because i had a lot on and i thought it'd be really interesting for you guys actually it's just been so full on so i'm sorry if some of the days have been a bit disjointed um but it's just been crazy and i am absolutely exhausted um on the thursday i feel like i didn't vlog very much on thursday um but i had my meeting which was really good but it's about something quite big so it's like exciting but it's also quite stressful and then that day i basically had to secure a location for a sh another shoot i'm doing next week and um, which i'm also preparing for now which is not like the ones that i've done this week it's much more important um and i had to i took it upon myself to secure the location and um, the location I really, really wanted had been penciled and the person said that they would let me know at 4 p.m. So all day I just felt so, so anxious because I was waiting to hear from her. And then at like half past three, I swear, I went into like full on 
just like zombie mode. I was not normal. I was just so, so stressed out. And then she got back to me at 4.20 saying that I could have the location and I've never felt like, I've just not felt so much joy in so long. It's just like a weight had been lifted from my shoulders. Um, and then I had to go to this camera shop I always go to um, on Rathbone Place off Oxford Street. Um, they literally just are so patient with me because I'm like someone that's using cameras professionally, but who actually knows absolutely nothing about cameras. So I always go to that shop because they're so good. That's called um, Park Cameras. So I went there and then I just got home and collapsed because I was so tired and got on with more work. And today is another like really full on work day. Um, I just really want to get myself fully prepared for Tuesday. So right now I'm sorting out a load of styling and props as well. And I'm basically like dismantling my whole flat and I don't have any idea how this is all gonna fit in my car. And I've also got to go through all of the content that I shot this week. Kat is editing the video, which is amazing, but she's sending me photo selects, which I have to go through and edit. And then I also have to go through all of my afternoon tea content um, and do the stories and the posts and edit the photos and edit this video in time for Monday. So there's quite a lot to do. I mean, it might get spread over the weekend. At some point I need to go and actually have my nails done. I'm gonna have to get like some extensions just for my shoot on Tuesday, but then I'm also going on holiday um, the week after. So I feel like I'll just get some like extensions so they look really pretty. And then when I get home, I'll have them taken off and then I really, really badly need to let my nails breathe. So here is the current situation. I mean, if you thought the other day was over the top, you have seen nothing, my friends. Um, it's basically like all my worldly possessions. This is the reason I can't have any furniture in this room because I do this so often. Um, and I just really need like a big space where I can just lay everything out. I also got these really beautiful like white satin hangers um, with gold hooks from Amazon. I'm also going to be dismantling my rail to take with me, which will be quite intense. And then I'm also probably going to be taking my trunk. So I will empty everything out of these, put them inside one another. I'm excited, I am really excited, but um, I'm also really nervous. I just really want everything to be perfect. Look at these shoes. I got these from Shein as well. Um, it was between these and the others for the Penhaligon shoot. I felt like the others just worked so perfectly, but these are really good for this shoot. So I've got those as well. And oh my gosh, how gorgeous. I literally just this second got this delivery through the door from Flowered. They are just amazing. They do really, really treat me. Um, they just have the most stunning bouquets and every single time they send me one, I think it's the nicest one I've ever had. So I thought you guys might be interested to see the photos that I've been working on. Um, I'm really, really happy with them. We took 900 pictures. I just got my mum to keep on snapping just to make sure I had it. Um, so it's taken me like two hours to look through them and narrow them down to 95 images. And I've just edited all of these up as well and I'm really happy, like the edit just looks so pretty. So I'll just show you the before. I mean, it doesn't look like super different. I've just taken a lot of the yellow out and made it a little bit brighter, a little bit pinkier, um, just to fit in with my grid a bit more, but I haven't really done too much to them, to be honest. And of course, wherever I'm working, <laughs> she's never too far away. <laughs> We also got these shots as well, which I'm really, really impressed with. Like, I feel like they look like professional images, especially these ones. Um, yeah, go my mum. Also, Kat has just sent me an edit of the video. I'm so excited to watch it. I may have to mute it because um, YouTube will copyright the music. But shall we have a little look, a little sneak peek? Right, I'm gonna stop it there. That's your little sneak peek. And then she's also sent me all of the photos. We narrowed, um, I narrowed 700 down to 187 yesterday. So I'm gonna go through these, narrow them down even more, work on my captions for tomorrow so everything can be sent to the brands for approval first thing Monday morning. <laughs> So 
so guys i'm going to sign the vlog off here it's been such a productive week i'm really really pleased i'm excited for next week although also really nervous um i still have a lot of work to do this weekend but for now i just want to have some dinner watch some inventing anna and then i'll crack on editing this vlog for monday so if you're watching thank you so so much and i will see you all next week